Mr. Fun Times here with a happy tale of two cities. It's often difficult to get along with your neighbors, but idealism can make for strange bedfellows. In the heart of California lay a den of depravity and sin called Hollywood. The streets were rich with prostitution and dealers in drugs and alcohol. But then God's militia came and took root there. One might think that pleasures and penance of the flesh would make for incompatible neighbors. But where there are absolutes, there are also exceptions in the extremes. So it was that a dominatrix and a torturer found common ground and brought blissful peace with the unlikeliest of unions in the unlikeliest of cities. But with peace comes complacency and laziness, easily exploitable to those with a penchant for breaking, entering, and bleeding the occupants of those with it's Rankin Shooter. Time to test this bitch and nail minigun build. You ready to hear some mayhem? Oh yeah, here we go. Oh god, not again. are forbidden to interfere! At ease, Sister Glory. I know what this is about. The Patriarch has sent the famous Desert Rangers to inquire after his son, Valor. I'll be with you in just a moment, Rangers. Justice is swift in God President Reagan's America. Well, well, so polite. Excellent. We have something we'd like to discuss with you, too. Ronnie, are you ready to begin the trial? Yes, Nancy. Uh, present the accused. Construct depicting the elder statesman. Curious and beautiful. So you not only interrupt our trial, but you allow your machine to prattle on about our great God President? Ah, yes. God President Reagan's presence can be overwhelming. But do try and contain yourselves. Now, back to the matter at hand. Husband! This heathen Godfisher attacked three of our commandos, captured one, cut off his limbs, and sent him screaming into the sky. The gods of the sky must be appeased, or the nurturing rains will never come. Thus, we appease them with our sacred kites and the blood of unbelievers. Well, that doesn't sound very civilized. What's the other one done? Please, no further interruptions. The other one, husband, is a communist robot from the machine commune who trespassed on our land. Your designation is incorrect. We are a direct democracy. And I entered your lands to heal the injured humans. It is irrelevant whether one is communist. How Co communist? Communist? Mr. Lee, no one can be denied the promise that is, well, America. Let's give her a second chance. Go and, uh, sin no more. <laughs> Fools! The gods of the sky will devour you! Uh, thus is justice done in America. God bless us, and God bless God President Reagan. Sorry to keep you waiting, but matters of state must come first. I'm Mother Nancy Reliance, and this is my husband, God President Reagan. 
Welcome to the shining city on the hill. Funny you should ask. I have a proposal in mind that could get you one, as well as help you with your Valor Buchanan problem. Come and join Ronnie and I in the Western White House. We'll meet you in the sacred server room and discuss it there. Good day. <gasps> Chili beans! We haven't had any visitors since we paused the Patriarch soil. You're the Rangers, right? Meeting God President Reagan is a great honor. Congratulations. Wow, the Desert Rangers. We don't get many famous folks around these parts. And you're getting the VIP treatment too. Meeting the God President face to face. I'm Sister Nancy Glory, by the way. Anything I can do for you? Oh, we didn't do any of that. That was all the gold, President. Ain't that right, sir? <laughs> I have to protect my Nancy, don't I? Oh, Ronnie. You're making me blush. Oh, Ron is everywhere. He sees through every statue in this place, but the place he likes to be most is in the server room with Mother Nancy. Well, because the robot was a commie, obviously. But you never know with Ronnie. Last week he spared a robot, killed two godfishers, and incinerated a tree. It's all part of his plan, though. I know that. Ronnie set her free. She's one of them crazy godfishers. They like to hang people's torsos onto kites and fly them up in the air. Supposed to attract demons from the clouds or something like that. Ugh, disgusting heathen nonsense. It'll all go when we finally cleanse this place. This is Ronnie's land, his oil. We ain't leaving. Not for cannibals, call me computers, pinko robots, or filthy plain savages. Not for anyone. take the name Nancy from Ronnie's original wife, back before the deluge of fire. It's the greatest honor a woman can achieve, being a Nancy. I love my Nancy. Oh, I love you too, Ronnie. The Godfishers? Sure. They're the crazy cultists who kill people and fly their torsos up to the clouds on kites. And I'm pretty sure they want to kill us all. So, not very neighborly neighbors, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, don't tell anybody I said so, but we kind of do. There's more and more of them all the time. They're moving into our oil field now. Of course, Ronnie blasts them whenever they get too close, but he ain't mobile, and Mother Nancy won't give me the troops I need to fight him. So, well, if you're looking for a paycheck... Well, thanks, Rangers. What else uh, can I do for you? You two, Rangers. Don't forget, Mother Nancy and Ronnie are waiting for you inside. Well, hello down there. 
Looking forward to seeing you inside. in Colorado Springs, so we're suspending <laughs> operations immediately. I, but the oil! The oil's been there for a million years. It ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Cap the well, and I'll forget about your brief crisis of faith in our sacred leadership. Understood? Don't forget, Mother Nancy and Ronnie are waiting for you inside. Judgment Day is nigh. Any day now, Reagan will be reborn. Reagan be with you. Don't keep the God President waiting, Rangers. You'll find him at the north end of the building. Sanctuary of the Holy Sir. I wish I could get an audience with the God President. Don't keep the God President waiting, Rangers. You'll find I wish I could get an audience with the God President. wife and his armorer made all our guns armor explosives and that commie killing ronnie statue out on our front porch trade secret meaning i won't sell it and you couldn't afford it if i did doesn't mean i don't appreciate the compliment though thank you anyway i'm the traitor here on top of everything else you need something I might have it. And if I don't, <laughs> you probably don't need it. Ronnie called me to it during one of his spells, way back when I was a girl. She has hands of iron for forge and steel, he said. When a god tells you your trade, you best listen. Blood, sweat, and tears, friend. Blood, sweat, and tears. Scavenged and smelted the plating myself, hand ground the laser lenses, and spent a year wrapping the wiring. Also hunted and killed 30 or so scar collectors because I had some parts I needed, steel, servos, and such. More than a few of the statues, bits, and bobs have blood on them. A fitting tribute to America's fighting president, right? Of course it is. I made it and it's imbued with Ronnie's spirit. It's an all-American ass-kicking war machine. yee Well now, kind of you to say so. What did you like best about it? Fitting them with all that gear was a job and a half. Nice to be appreciated. You know, that reminds me. I got some leftovers from that job taking a valuable space. It's yours if you want it. Make sure you put that to good use, Rangers. Sure, have a look.
to the Book of Bonzo. Chapter 12, verse 1. Blessed are the job creators, for the tax cuts they receive will trickle down to the middle class. Well, blessed are the nukes, for they protect our freedom from the evil communists. Blessed is the oil that sustains our military industrial complex and makes us, well, a shining city on the hill. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great on Wall Street. Success sells. Greed is good. Well, amen. Partner? Pilgrim? Partner? Darn it, I'm just trying to do it like all rangers and marshals and cowboys in the stories do it. Nodding and squinting and staring right through you. You know, tough, hard. Uh, my, my name's uh, Bill. I, I have a stupid question. I, I, know, I know it's stupid, but I, I, I gotta ask. I, I just gotta know. Have, uh, uh, have any of you seen my ma anywhere? I told you it was a stupid question. How would you know if you saw her? I, I, I don't even have a picture of her. I just... Ah, you, you forget I asked. I, it was about six years ago. She, uh, she had a fight with Mother Nancy. Called her a bunch of things I'd never heard before. They wanted her to become one of those God President Reagan's wives. It's a big honor, but uh, I guess she didn't want it. She said she'd leave before she married a machine. They told her, okay, go, but I couldn't go with her. She, uh, she uh, left anyway. You, uh, you mean like, like the stories? Walking the west with a six shooter in my hand, saving my mom from uh, engines and cattle barons and railroad men. Uh, you think I should do it? Sure I do, I mean, I've never been, but uh, I know all the history. You know, how God President Reagan conquered the West before it was God President. All that. You don't know? Well, this was back in the bad old days when the West was overrun by commies all trying to build iron curtains and stop freedom. The God President was still a man back then for the ascension, but oh boy, was he tough. He, he had a six shooter that fired seven bullets and, and a horse named Ashwater that killed Reds just by looking at him. Anyway, I, I know the West has gotten worse again since he tamed it back then, but uh, I, I reckon I can handle it. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. I, I guess it would have been dumb, but oh, it felt right. Uh, like my heart was a locked door and, and your words were the key. Yeah. Sorry, Ma. Yeah, see ya.
If you're looking to get patched up, I'm your gal. They call me the Wyman around here, but I prefer Doc. If you're a Nancy, and you do something the other Nancys don't like, they shun you and call you a Wyman. Yeah, no idea what it means. Maybe some kind of rat or insect or something. Anyway, you'll hear a lot of things about me in this shitty city on the hill. <laughs> None of them good. But nobody can fault my doctrine, so you don't have to worry. Well, I was Reagan's second wife behind Reliance, and now I'm not. We'll just leave it at that. Quit! Ha! I was excommunicated. Mother Reliance burned my Nancy wig and used my red suit for a toilet rag. She'd hand me over to the Godfishers if anyone else in this Girl Scout camp knew their way around a med kit. Speaking of... I could use your help to drive that point home. I might be able to waive the fees for treating your wounds, if you're interested. So where? Colorado Springs? <laughs> Why would I bother trading one dictator with delusions of godhood for another? Besides, Colorado Springs has plenty of doctors and the Patriarch would likely string me up within a week for speaking my mind. I... Yeah, okay, you're probably right. So, like I said, Reliance would have Ronnie light me up if she didn't need me. So, I, uh... I need to make sure she doesn't start looking at other medical options. Pretty sure the robots at the Machine Commune have some tricks for healing humans, not just machines. Every once in a while, a Gipper patrol will get lost, injured, and then a couple of days later show up right as rain, escorted by a couple of robots. Obviously, Reliance has Ronnie blast him before any commie sleeper programming can turn on, but if you're in the Commune and get some kind of data on their clinic, I'll heal you up for free from then on and throw in a few medical supplies, too. Great. Thank you. Just don't mention this to anyone else, huh? Especially not Forge. Pretty sure she wants this intel, too. But if I share, it won't win me an inch with Reliance. See for yourself. Admin Log Entry 509, Testament of Sister Nancy Justice. Another unexpected proclamation today. Mother Nancy has ordered a full audit of Reagan's neural net to try and isolate the cause. Sys Admin Log Entry 1821, Testament of Sister Nancy Justice. Reagan's behavior is increasingly erratic. He's having conversations with persons only he can see. I... I fear that I don't have the code craft to make this right. Sis Admin Log Entry 2403. Testament of Sister Nancy Justice. The God President demanded to speak with Nancy tonight. When we asked which Nancy, he flew into a terrible rage. Had to initiate an emergency shutdown for repairs. Sis Admin Log Entry 3314. Testament of Mother Nancy Reliance. This log has reached the end of its usefulness and will be terminated. Effective immediately. Welcome to the Western White House. God President Reagan is expecting you. Please come in.
Western White House. God, President Reagan is expecting you. Please come here. What is this? Those are the Desert Rangers! They work for my father! You promised to keep me safe! Calm down, Valor. God President Reagan has everything under control. Well now, welcome, patriots. N N Nancy and I, well, we appreciate your selfless service and want to thank you for it. You are true Americans and we'll go 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 good neighbors. Now then, help yourself to some jelly beans and let's get down to business, shall we? As you as you know, as you know, no, no. You and I have a run run rendezvous with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man, 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 man on earth, or we'll sentence them to <laughs> If it takes a blood 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 let's get it over with. Well, what do you say? Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. How do you tell a co communist? Well, it's someone who reads Marx and Lenin. And how do you tell an anti-communist? -co it's someone who understands Marx and Lenin. They're like choosy cannibals, right? They only eat the rich. Um, asking only for purposes of our education, ma'am and sir. We don't mean to upset anyone. I'll be happy to explain, Rangers. Communism is a foul philosophy that tricks people into giving up their individuality and submitting to the will of the state, which commands them to work for free and relentlessly attack those who don't subscribe to their ideology. It is an evil beyond reckoning. I think that most people in this country would say yes, they are better off than they were four years ago. Why shouldn't we believe that? We are Ameri Americans. That's enough, Ronnie. You did very well. But it's bedtime for Bonzo now, okay? Okay, Mommy. Well, I'm sleepy. I know you are, darling. Night-night. Thank you for joining the God President and I in the sacred server room, Rangers. Before we discuss why you're here, I have a proposition for you. A favor that would make us look more favorably on your requests. My husband, the God President, wishes to transfer his consciousness to a human body. To accomplish this, we must acquire a... What was it, Valor? A cybernetic transfer module. It's amazing. Basically, what it does is... That's enough for now, Valor. But yes, we must acquire this transfer module from the filthy communist robots that occupy the Denver airport. Or rather, we'd like you to acquire it and bring it here. To us. Once God President Reagan has a human body, you'll be rewarded with money, a fine weapon, and we will relinquish our claim on valor and restart the oil to Colorado Springs. Very well, but I warn you, I have a very limited supply of patience. There are a lot of issues with the current hardware. The read-write heads alone are... They don't need such technical details, Valor. Suffice to say, though the vessel containing the God President was meant to be everlasting, that has proven false and a new vessel is required. 
Ronnie has announced his preference for the vessel to be human. The preparations have kept us busy enough. Your assistance is a convenience that we are willing to pay for. Nothing more. They call themselves a commune and say they are working for the betterment of all sentient beings. It's a lie. They put on a friendly face so they can turn humans against each other. Mark my words, they'll try to trick you too. But their end draws near. Once we have what we need from them, they will be dealt with like the dirty communists they are. The godfishers are always a danger in Denver, but trained mercenaries such as yourselves should be able to handle them. Now, I serve at the pleasure of a god, rangers, and I don't have time for this non-committal dithering. Are you going to help us or not? Agreed, but only after Valor helps us transfer God President Reagan into a new body. That's right. They can't do this without me. Yes, dear. Now keep working. Meanwhile, our home is at your disposal. I'll tell the sisters you can come and go as you please. Make America proud, Rangers. So, you're the Rangers. I hear you've been showing the Marshals how it's done. Keep it up and maybe Daddy will make you his chief bootlickers. Well, you can go back and tell Saul I'm staying here. The Gippers are my family now. Huh. My father sent me here as punishment for being smarter than him. Stupidest thing he ever did. Damn right I am. The Gippers understand my worth. They're not blind like my father. I'm the foremost tech and computer expert in the world. You name it, I've taken it apart, put it back together, and made it better. As modest as he ever was. He's always been like this. A boaster and a braggart. Just a tiny investment in hardware, and I could have given my father access to all the Hundred Family's records and secrets. No, but he wasn't going to shell out for any tech unless it could kill someone. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> He's blind. All drive and no vision. Liberty attacked Colorado Springs, and the city alarms didn't go off. So he blamed me. He said I fucked up. I didn't fuck up. Those alarms were sabotaged. My sister! She stole the codes from my room before she left! It was her fault, not mine! Idiots. <laughs> they're all idiots. They think they're the center of civilization. No, oh, not without oil, they're not. <laughs> Let's see how civilized they are a few months from now. You finished the calculation? How? I mean, that's great. Uh, good. Uh, this will really speed things up. Um... I guess I should thank you. Here. That's an understatement. 
The infrastructure around here is fine for pumping oil and powering the defense systems, but we're trying to usher in the next era in human-to-God interfaces. It's pushing this building's systems to the limit. If I could just squeeze out some extra power, we could supercharge Reagan's statue and still have enough juice for the transfer process. The upgrades don't require a genius like me. Even you could do it. If you want to make some extra money, I'll pay you to handle them. And there are also some system parts which would become redundant. You can have those, too. Three terminals manage our key systems. Everything from the Reagan statue's weapons to heating the building. Two are in this building, but one's near the statue. Look at each terminal, figure out the problem, fix it. Simple. We have the wealth of Colorado beneath our feet, Rangers, and you've seen our wonders firsthand. You will be fairly compensated for any work you do. What about them? In this springtime of hope, some lights seem eternal. America's is. Hush, Ronnie. The answer to both questions is yes. You have only seen a fraction of the statute's full power. If our systems are upgraded, we can unleash its full potential and complete the transfer of Ronnie's consciousness into a human body. However, obtaining the cybernetic transfer module is still our top priority. Uh, don't waste my time. You're not being paid by the hour. The automated turrets, the protection of the Gipper himself, all the Nancys who swore to defend me. Well, I never claimed to be a fighter, but here, I don't need to be. <laughs> Not if I see you first. People do rather get the wrong idea about us. I can't say I mind. Let us be underestimated and ridiculed. They think our Ronnie is dead and never coming back, and they are wrong. They accuse us of seeing communists in every shadow, and, well, they are right. But so are we. Make no mistake, dears. We are surrounded by the vestiges of the evil empire. They have turned our great nation into an irradiated graveyard, and they expect us to weep. But we are steel, sisters. We do not bend, nor do we rust. We endure. So let them laugh at us. We are the wives of the God President, and we will endure until he returns to us. Until then, his great work lies before us, unfinished. We will arm our sons and our daughters and teach them to hunt communists and snake-tongued socialists. From birth, we will turn our children's hearts to unyielding stone. With our blessing, they will bring peace back to the world, one bullet at a time. We do this in the Gipper's name. Amen. It's silly talking about how many years we will have to spend in the jungles of Vietnam, when we could pave the whole country and put parking stripes on it and still be home by Christmas. It's silly talking about it. The price for freedom at times has been high, but we have never been unwilling to pay the price. Foolishness. 
I don't know who put that game on Ronnie's council, but it is an utter waste of time. You don't appear to have the module. Why have you returned? Sister Glory means well, but we can handle a few scattered plain savages. You stay focused on getting the module and resolving our deal. Bring us the cybernetic transfer module, then we'll restore the flow of oil to Colorado Springs and release our claim on Valor Buchanan. Is any part of that unclear? You are referring to God President Reagan's ticks? Yes, well, my dear Ronnie is just as sane as he ever was. It is the machine that contains him that is failing. These outbursts are caused by faulty wiring and aging hardware. Simulation! <laughs> the God President is the real and actual Ronald Wilson Reagan in digital form. Downloaded into this sacred vessel before his worldly shell failed him. He is, in a very real sense, the last true American. The only man left who lived before the deluge of fire and who knows the secrets of the old world. And through his leadership and wisdom, he will return us to that old world. He will heal this broken land and make it once more a patriot's paradise. The shining city on the hill. I told you Ronnie is not a simulation. He is an adaptive intelligence. His memories are stored magnetically and transferred in and out of storage by read-write heads. Those in turn deliver data to and from his processing units. Sadly, the components have degraded over time and occasional tiny errors have crept in. We've had to work around them. Thank you. You're more insightful than most of the outsiders I've met. A pleasant surprise. Maintaining the God President's hardware and software requires talent and training. It is a difficult job, but rewarding. Our duty is a holy one. But despite our expertise, we can't change the fact that Ronnie is housed in pre-war machines, and repairing them grows more difficult every year. That is why we're finding him a more natural vessel where his divinity can flourish unbound. We are reviewing the health and fitness of numerous candidates. Our young Mr. Buchanan is handling the technical side of things. Valor, dearest. Could you please explain the details of the module for our guests? I don't have time for this, but if you insist... The module was built to create a direct connection between a human brain and a machine intelligence. It was scrapped after it overwrote a researcher's brain, <laughs> allegedly. I'm inclined to believe that was human error, or a weak-minded subject. The design specifications are incomplete, but I know enough to fill in the gaps. Clearly, the device is meant to transfer information to a human mind, not overwrite it. Thank you, Valor. That was an excellent summation. This transfer capability is precisely what we need to move the God President into a human body. Yes?
A talking limousine? How oh, absurd. Sounds like a ploy by those commie computers to abduct my beloved Ronnie. I hope you destroyed the abomination. Good. A fitting end. Now, was there anything else before you returned to the task of acquiring the module? Outsiders always do. Ask away. Wyman is the name used for a former Nancy who has schemed against the God President. One who has spurned his great gifts and fallen from grace. Fortunately, there have been few Wymans over the years. That particular Wyman claimed I was misinterpreting the God President's pronouncements for my own benefit. Nothing but jealousy. Were it up to me, she would have been cast out entirely. Lucky for her, my Ronnie is a merciful God. He merely divorced her, thus making her a Wyman. She is permitted to remain on the premises because of her medical skills. But holy ground like the sacred server room is forever forbidden to her. In the days after the godless communists rained fire and death from sea to shining sea, the god president awoke in the ruins of the city on the hill and mourned the loss of the world he'd built and the loss of his wife. So mighty was his grief, so heartbreaking his suffering, that it was heard across the gray and burning world. Men raged with him at the dying of the light, and women wept at his loneliness. But one woman did more. She healed his wounds and gave him solace. In gratitude, the God President named her Nancy. The first Nancy. Then he led her to this building, dubbed it the Western White House, and decreed that it would be the heart of America reborn. We are his wives, and we all hold positions of great responsibility in his government. It is the highest honor in the land. Some of us are warriors, like Sister Nancy Glory, standing strong against the barbarian hordes. Others are scientists and technicians. Sister Nancy Forge, for instance, built many of our weapons and defensive systems. All of us serve Reagan to the best of our abilities and work to prepare the next generation of wives to serve him likewise when we die. It is our sacred duty. The sisters protect the God President's people and enforce his laws. I protect the God President himself, and I interpret his wisdom. This has been the honor and the duty of every Mother Nancy since the first. We brief the God President on state and business issues, disputes between citizens, and once he speaks on them, we put the intent of his words into action. You mean that I could interpret Ronnie's words in any way I wished? That he is just a figurehead, and I am making all the decisions? Ridiculous! For one who has been at his side for half a century, the God President's intent is always perfectly clear. I am only his wife. I have no power but that which passes from him through me, and no ambition but to serve him well. He is a brilliant computer technician who feels as strongly as we do that the God President must have a new vessel. Without him and his knowledge, the transfer would be impossible. Ha! <laughs> oh, Dad's gonna shit his pants when he meets the new Reagan face-to-face. -face. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs>